I'm Tim Borstelman, uh, and uh, my uh, research interests have mostly been in uh, the area of U.S. foreign relations, the U.S. and the world. Uh, so my most recent book is, was on the 1970s, uh, A Global History of the, 19th, of the United States in sort of global context. Uh, and before that, a couple of books on race and foreign relations. So uh, those, that's my, my long-term interest has been on issues of equality and inequality, especially as those relate to the American relationship to the rest of the world. Sure, I have a book that's in process with uh, Columbia University Press, and it's to be entitled The Hearts of Foreigners, How Americans Understand Others. So this is a book that's a sort of a sweeping uh, overview of the American relationship with people who are not Americans. That is to say, people who are immigrants into the United States and not yet having citizen status, These are new or the refugees or they're people who live in other countries. And in a sense, the book is really an effort to tie together immigration history as well as foreign relations history, two histories that are usually seen as somewhat separate from each other. I've probably always been curious about the question of how people in this country think about the rest of the world in the most elemental sense of what what is the nature of other people are they culturally similar or different are they how how do they come to be different than they are you know behind this are questions of human nature and how Americans understand that mm -hmm. and cultural difference I've been curious about that for probably decades but this project emerged out of a a more concrete effort uh, to put together a presidential address for the Society for Historians of American Foreign Relations uh, that I did about four years ago. Uh, and the book is really a fleshing out of that larger, a larger version of that specific project. Hmm. Well, my early books were heavily rooted in traditional sort of archival research and presidential libraries, national archives, that sort of thing. Uh, and then this book that I'm working on now about foreigners is, is different because it's by definition a large interpretive overview. In a sense, it's an extended essay. So that means that it's much more um, dependent on secondary sources, large literatures that I'm trying to uh, grasp the full scale of. Um, so I think that, that makes it a little different than what I was doing early on. I think I feel as I've moved along in my career more of a responsibility to think in broad terms about larger questions um, and also to do so in shorter books because mm -hmm. our readership has you know, dropped off for larger books. I think what I'm intrigued by maybe uh, most of all is the way it turns out that Americans in the broadest sense seem to have been both uh, very ethnocentric, very impressed with their own culture and their own nation, their own power, their own goodness in the world on the one hand, um, which makes them seem um, like a not very uh, likable people. And then on the other hand, at the same time, they've tended to be rather universalistic in their sense of who could become an American or who could be like Americans. And so they're both, they're both sort of exclusive and inward looking on the one hand and spectacularly inclusive and outward looking on the other hand. And how they pull that off is, uh, is a fascinating story that I try to elucidate in this book.